before the break, we met Alden, who has some serious reservations about his girlfriend's best friend, Isaiah. Isaiah is here and ready to answer all of Alden's questions. Uh, Isaiah, do, do you have an uh, opening statement? I've been knowing April since elementary school. We go way back. I got love for April. I got love for you because you date my best friend. And I accept the fact that you're her boyfriend. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like you accept the fact that I'm her best friend and that's what I want you to do. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Alden, you have some questions for Isaiah? What, what are they? My first question for you, Isaiah, I know you and April have been friends, you know, since grade school. But really, what are your intentions with my girlfriend, April? Mm. I don't have any intentions with April. My only intention is to continue to play the part that I've been playing as April's best friend. You know, I play a different couple roles inside of her life. So by me being backed up against a wall, I don't know. I mean, I play a different, a, a lot. What of else you want to ask? Yes, I just need to ask him. Me and April lay down a lot of boundaries. I really want to know why can't you just respect them? I mean, like what? You say you lay down boundaries, what? We lay down boundaries. Like, I honestly don't feel like you need to invite yourself everywhere. Can you please give us a call before Alden, you... if you give me a key to the apartment, I'm gonna show up. <laughs> if you guys are going out to hang out, I'm gonna feel like you're inviting me if you're not clear on what you're doing. It's not about me not respecting boundaries. I know, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about me not respecting boundaries. It's just about what you're clear on. If you're not clear on the stuff that you say, I'm gonna show up. Oh my God, they're laughing. <sighs> this is crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy situation. This is why I need your help, Steve. I just do not know where to go from here. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's not even about that. I'm April's in the positions that I said that I play. I wanna make this clear. I play godfather to both of her children. April's been there for me a lot of times, you know? And like, we've been friends for a long time. So you're her boyfriend and I'm her best friend. And I feel like until you put a ring on it and you play her husband and her best friend, I'm gonna be her best friend. That's to be here and be supportive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm to the point where you just say, okay. No, see, and... you, listen to me. You at the point where you just gonna say okay. So he has laid down the law in your relationship. He says until you put a ring on it, he gonna be here. And I don't feel like that's his place to even say that. You know what? And I, I didn't uh, come here to go back and forth and play the blame game. We're not gonna play the blame game. I came here to come to a compromise. I'm open to any ideas that they wanna Okay, make cool. A... What you want to happen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, what I want to happen is, you know, I love, I love April to death. I want to marry her, and, you know, I do want to play stepfather to her kids. See, hey, but hey, then hey, I want hey. To... what you want to happen here? What we I want, heard what I want all to happen, that. Isaiah, I want you to get your own relationship. I want you to get your own... I understand, like, you, you are, that's, I understand that's your best friend and everything, but me and April, we need our own relationship. You can't just invite yourself everywhere. You can't just say what you want to say. You can't speak on how you just feel all the time. I'm open to that. You know? And that's something we can work on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start off by giving you that key back. That's what we want. All right. Here, you take it. Listen to me. We three men here talking. Okay. Do you know what men do? We do what we are allowed to do. That's what we do. We do that all day everywhere we go. Now, he willing to compromise. He ain't here to play the blame game, but you still not firm in what you want. You got to put your foot down. See, he going to have to drink all this water. But I don't feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, now. All right. <laughs> now, what exactly do you want? I just want you to respect me and April. I really want you to give us our space. Me and April have laid down. What does that office. mean? You won't give us space. What does that mean? I want, I want you to give us space. Can you please just stop coming over? Stop, quit house? asking him please, man. Isaiah, this dude I done told to you what to he gonna house. do. Stop coming to the house unexpected. Stop inviting yourself out when me and April are on our dates. Can you please just stop, just stop doing it. Stop okay, doing it. Okay, listen I to me. I got you. 
Please. Okay, I'm come open here. to that. Come here, stand up right here. Okay. You come stand right here. Okay. I'm you. Now, tell me. Okay. Tell me. Say, Alton, tell him what you want. Can you tell Isaiah what you want? Okay, listen here. This, this what's happening this day forward. Mm -hmm. Don't come to this house unless you invite it. Next time I see you at my grandmama house, I'm gonna knock your ass out. <laughs> now, <laughs> if, if you show up on the disrespected, I'm gonna consider it as a show of disrespect. And then this compromise that we reach, we're gonna have to tear that contract up and then we're gonna have to handle it another way. Now, I respect you as a man and I do not mind you being April's best friend, but you're gonna be just her best friend from a distance. This is my house, these my kids, this my girl. Don't get in the way of that no more. It, see, I don't know how to do the rest of it without cussing, though. <laughs> I can respect that. Because it was direct. Oh, yeah. And you got the point. Mm -hmm. And I look like I meant it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want you to come to my grandmother's house and see, <laughs> see, that one, <laughs> I always throw a hood piece in there. You know? And don't let it happen again, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, April, Alden, Isaiah. We'll be right back.